Welcome to this instructional video on how to install the master anamorphic flare sets. A 60mm master anamorphic lens is being used here to demonstrate the procedure, which is the same for every focal length. Each flare set consists of a replacement front element and also a rear element. For the installation, you should use the accompanying toolkit, which includes a friction wrench and a Torx screwdriver preset to the correct level of torque. You'll also need a bellows. Please ensure that you carry out this procedure in a dust-free environment. First, loosen the front trim ring with a friction wrench. Then unscrew it by hand and remove it. Undo the six Torx screws that are revealed, holding the compendium ring in place. Put the screws to one side and carefully slide the ring off vertically making sure you've noted the position of the focus index marks. Six inner torque screws secure the front element and are highlighted here in red. Undo them and remove the front element. Please note the difference between the single coated optic of the flare set element and the less reflective standard element with its multi-layer coating. Insert the new front element and match the seal hole for correct positioning. Reinsert and tighten the six inner torque screws, fully tightening two screws in opposite positions before all the others. Carefully slide the compendium ring back into its correct position and secure it with the six torque screws. Reseat the trim ring and tighten it with the friction wrench. If necessary, remove any dust with the bellows. Then replace the front lens cap before turning the lens over in order to exchange the rear element. The four torque screws that secure the rear cover ring are highlighted here. Undo them and gently lift up the ring with the screwdriver to remove it. Four inner torque screws are then revealed. They are highlighted here. These should be taken out and put on one side, allowing the rear element to be removed. Here you can again see the differing reflectivity of the standard and flare set optics. Insert the new rear element, matching the seal hole for correct positioning. Reinsert and tighten the four inner torque screws. Replace the rear covering and secure it with the four torque screws. You can read a full written description of this procedure in the manual that comes with each flare set. Thank you for taking the time to watch our tutorial. We hope you enjoy shooting creative effects with your flare set. 